If you really think about it, why is the US Southwest a desert and the Southeast not a desert? After all, they're both roughly on the same latitude and the prevailing winds for both of these originate over an ocean and blow onto land in this general direction. So what exactly accounts for the vast difference in precipitation here? Well, deserts form where there is high pressure zones and on the planet, both hemispheres have two major areas of high pressure, the polar regions and the subtropical high, which is theoretically a band of high pressure that goes around the entire planet at roughly 30 degrees north and south of the equator. These high pressure zones are created by the interaction of the three main atmospheric wind cells. It begins with the Hadley cell where warm, humid air on the equator begins to rise. Whenever you have rising humid air, this is low pressure and it generates rainfall. But eventually this air falls back to the surface creating high pressure. And having perpetual high pressure caused by sinking dry air that pushes moisture away is a crucial factor in the formation of deserts. And these two spots of high pressure is why we have groupings of deserts in these general locations. But these systems are impacted by the geography of the planet, causing slight deviations from how it should theoretically be. And one of these anomalies is the Gulf of Mexico. And specifically, it's the temperature of the water here. We can see that in comparison to the, the Central Atlantic and the coast off of California, the Gulf of Mexico is significantly warmer than both of these bodies. And as we learned, warm, humid air rises, which counteracts the sinking dry air that's usually found in these latitudes. And that results in the Gulf of Mexico essentially piercing a hole in this high pressure band that should exist here. And that break in this high pressure band combined with the prevailing winds bring moisture up into the Southeast. And for the Southwest, even though the winds are moving in the right direction, the ocean temperatures here are just too cold to counteract the, the high pressure. So that is why the US Southeast is one of the few regions located within the subtropical high zone that isn't a desert. The Gulf of Mexico is just enough of an anomaly to break through this high pressure zone and supply the Southeast with an abundant amount of moisture from the tropics. 